Yeah. Um, I, it, I don't think it's worth your time. I think maybe focus on... Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> ...doing something. Well, I was going to say do something productive, but you're already using LFS, so you're... <laughs> like... Yeah, that, yeah. That, that ship is already sold. Yeah. Well, um, how, how long have you used LFS for? Um, the better part of a year. Okay. I thought it was actually over a year by this point, but it actually hasn't mm -hmm. because I didn't install LFS on my gaming rig. Um, after the release when it came out, like right after, it was actually like a month or two afterwards. Mm -hmm. And that's what surprised me, but yeah, it's only been a year by this point. Okay. How long have you used Linux for then? Um, let's see. Um, I started in December of 2022. <laughs> hold so up, hold up. Two years. <laughs> hold up. You went, <laughs> you went from using Linux in 2022 to running LFS a year later. Not to mention that I installed LFS plenty of times st starting in October of 2023. So it wasn't even like eight or nine months before I immediately went into the LFS rabbit hole. And it's been like a, f like a few months afterwards. Then I started daily driving LFS. But I've been big in LFS, like, even before I daily drived it. If you could see my face right now. <laughs> and, okay. and I could literally tell you the pipeline that I went for. It's like... Please do. You, you know Garuda? Yes. And it has, like, a Dragonized version, but it also has um, a Bare Bones version, which is basically just Arch with Garuda software on it. Yes. So I, I, I started with... Garuda, the Dragonized version, mm -hmm. for two weeks, immediately jumped cell to the bare bones version, mm -hmm. and then I I went on that for like three weeks. Then I immediately did an Arch install, uh -huh. and just da daily drived Arch for um probably as long until I actually started daily driving LFS, but um. Then I went down the Gen 2 and LFS rabbit holes in about, like, September or October. Right. So right. about seven or seven to nine months after I switched from Garuda over to Arch. Uh-huh. And I've been daily driving LFS for a year now. Right. And I have no plans on switching, by the way. I don't know where you would go if you switched. Will you go? You go to Ubuntu next? Like I. <laughs> Tempo OS. I'll just create That's my. True. I'll just create a new operating system. Just yeah, get your well. Your, your Nvidia card might be a problem. Just just start reverse engineering the drivers. Run Temple OS driver. <laughs> uh, I'll become Terry A. Davis, but without all the slurs. So, how did you make your way onto Linux? Like, when... Yeah, how... Because how, most people, when they start using Linux, right? Let me... Let me it might be difficult for you, because you became an LFS user within a year. But most people will, like, you know, mess around with Ubuntu and Fedora. One day they might get their way to, like, Arch and Gen 2. Like, that's a normal, like, way that this goes. So... Uh, how did you find yourself onto Linux? Like, what what originally drew you uh, you to it? So, I was actually a big Windows Power user before okay. I switched to Linux, and you won't even believe it, but I was like a big Windows Power user. I remember I'm not being surprised. In, in high school, and I was I I was I was legit pretentious in high school. Being like, oh, when when are you gonna install Windows 11? Because I was in the insiders, uh, um, whatever program that Microsoft does, mm -hmm. 
And I was like, oh, when are you going to install Windows 11? And I was like big into it and was running Windows 11 mm -hmm. until I noticed that um, the CPU, it was like an i3 because I was using a, a crappy laptop at the time. Right. But it was being throttled while I was just playing a basic 2D game called Geometry Dash. And so I was dying because of lag spikes. And I'm like, I can't play GD with all these lag spikes. I need a, I need a downgrade because Windows 11 is the issue. And when I downgraded, it immediately solved the problem. And so I'm like, you know, Windows 11 might actually be bad for performance. And so I continued being a Windows Power user until Microsoft started pushing all the, um, you know, ads. Mm. You, you know all about them and oh, well, stuff well, like yes. that. And trying to push users to install Windows 11. <laughs> And I'm like, this this is a problem. Mm -hmm. And so I had a friend um, who said, hey, um, you know, there's this thing called Linux and you should give it a try at least. Mm -hmm. And so I asked him, well, what distros? And he said, oh, you can do Mint. You can also do Garuda. Garuda is pretty nice. And so I'm like, you know what? Let's go with Garuda. Mm -hmm. And so I just went with Garuda, then went down the rabbit hole. Hmm. Because I just wanted to avoid having to switch to Microsoft Windows 11. You know, that's a fair argument. I I can respect that. <laughs> I kind of felt... I, I, I didn't start using uh, Windows... Uh, sorry, uh, Linux because of 11, but I didn't like 10 anyway. So it was just a... It was a matter of time. Um, I, I actually was a Mac OS user for a very long time. Uh, I I only started using Windows again because there was some like specific Windows software I needed for like my university class and yeah and somehow I I went from that to using Linux and going from needing software for a specific class to intentionally going out of my way to find software that could do the same thing as what I needed in the class so. Hmm. I'm sure I probably could have stayed on macOS, I, but the hardware at that point was getting old, and I really didn't want to buy a new MacBook. That's the thing. Like that's that's honestly one of the big yeah. reasons. I I did not have the money to buy a new MacBook. Yeah, I can't even relate to having even just a basic computer for a long time because the the way because my parents just didn't want to get a computer for me. Mm -hmm. And I just had to rely on, like, really crappy hardware mm -hmm. and just have, like, a Kindle Fire, then upgrade to a phone when I was 13, which, fair enough, but mm -hmm. a lot of kids just have, like, a computer growing up, and I just didn't have that privilege, and mm -hmm. so I just got a computer in 2020. Mm -hmm. And so I, I literally only had computer hardware for four years now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is absolutely insane to me. And as soon as you got it, you got, like, very into messing with it? Like, did you... Very into it. Did you have an interest in it, like, back when you had, like, very limited access to hardware? Or, like, what what sort of spurred your interest there? Oh, I always wanted to get a computer just because, you know, all the YouTubers have, you know, computers and stuff and can run all this software that you can't... You you just a, a phone or how a kindle fire mm -hmm. and so you just like for example like steam games like gmod for example i always wanted to to play that but mm -hmm. i just couldn't until i i got a computer mm -hmm. and so that's what drew me in is just all the software that i can run and how i can just edit videos mm -hmm. much better create art better literally do everything I was doing, but better, you know? Yeah, that's understandable. I, I get because that. Because I, I was, I, I was editing on my phone using Kind Master, and it was the most unbearable experience you can imagine. It, it, it was terrible. I do not recommend it. 